everyone, it's Jenny from the Edison Public Library and I am here today to make with you all paper plate snails. This is such a fun craft to do. Um, it's really good um, because you can use a lot of like scrap paper that you have from past projects. So what you're going to need today is first scrap paper. Um, I, as you can see, I have some from previous projects I've worked on, so I'm just going to use that again. Googly eyes. You're going to need a black marker or whatever color marker you're going to want to use later on. I want to use a black one. A pencil, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and also your paper plates. Um, so to get started, what you're going to do is choose the color of your scrap paper you want um, your snail to look like. So I chose orange and um, you can use cardstock if you have cardstock or construction paper. Um, if you have something a little thicker, feel free. If you just have plain white paper, that's totally fine too. So you're going to draw the outline of the snail. This is my snail. And then once you draw that outline, we're going to cut it out and put it off to the side. So as you can see, this is what your snail is going to look like once it's cut out. It's kind of like a, a comma with two little antennas. So this is going to be your snail head. So we're just going to put that on the side and I'm going to move my scrap paper off to the side as well. So now what we're going to do is decorate the shell of the snail. So this is essentially going to be your snail shell. So what I've done is I stacked a couple of colors of paper. You can do whatever you want. If you just want all one color, you want multiple colors, feel free. I stacked my scrap paper up and what I did was I cut a line, maybe like an inch thick or so. I cut a line all the way down so I had one nice long strip of scrap paper. And then once I was done with that, what I'm going to do is now with this long strip of scrap paper, I'm going to cut out little squares. So I'm just going to cut little, little squares all the way down. And these are going to be my decorations for my snail. So as you can see, I also have some other ones already pre-cut. Now we're going to move on to the next step we're gonna take our paper plate. And feel free to use any kind of paper plate. Um, they could have like, you know, design on it. They could be thicker. I just happen to have these white basic uh, paper plates, so I'm gonna use them. And we're gonna use the back of the paper plate. So now here's where your glue comes in. You're gonna take your glue and you can decorate this any way you want. If you guys decide you don't wanna do squares and you wanna do squigglies, you can do whatever you want. But I'm just gonna glue my um, my cutouts all over. Okay, so now I have the back of my snail decorated. I tried to do it like um, just assortment of different colors all over, no real crazy pattern. Um, ideas. It was just kind of like throw them wherever I wanted to and this is what mine's going to look like. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the head. So this part should be pretty easy for all of you. Like I said before, if you don't have um, googly eyes, feel free to draw the eyes actually on the snail. But for me, I'm going to use my googly eyes and I am going to, to glue them onto the eyeball area of the snail. So we have one there and I'm going to get the second one and glue it on as well. Okay, so there's my googly eyes on my snail. And now I'm going to draw a big old smile because he's a happy snail or she, whatever you want your snail to be. So now we have a big old smile on our snail. So now we gotta put the snail with the shell, right? 
What I like to do is use this whole area to glue so you really just see the head of the snail. So I'm gonna flip over this and glue to the front of the snail and put a little glue on my paper plate of where I want him. And I'm just gonna stick him down like this. And this is how it's gonna look from behind. But from the front, you have now your snail with your paper plate shell. Super cute, super easy to do. And I hope you guys all have fun while making this craft. Um, if you have any leftover scrap paper, like I have a bunch, I'm gonna save this for another project that I'll hopefully be able to use it again. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see you all again and have a great day. Bye.